and welcome back to my channel. This is Brynn here, Orange Ninja Bunny. We are back with a speed build called the ha Haunted <laughs> Shipwreck Cove. Um, I changed the name a couple times. Um, I don't think I ever fix the fact that I misspelled haunted. Uh, but once it's up on the gallery, it'll be fixed. I'm sorry that I suck. <laughs> um, but I made it a haunted lot. It's cursed, it's spooky, and it's got volcano activity. It's geothermal, a cat hangout. And it's got island spirits, so there's a lot of, like, you know, <laughs> a lot going on. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I kind of made it, like, so that it was, like, a really difficult lot. Um, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I was just like, you know what, it'll be great. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, so I originally, like... I didn't choose to keep this one, like the old Penelope, like the same exact lot, kind of like just moved a little bit, um, because I got this idea, um, and I just kind of went with this idea. <laughs> I don't know how to explain the idea until you like kind of see it, but anyways, <laughs> it's gonna be Shipwreck Cove because there's gonna be multiple ships. There's obviously this ship, but there's also the ship from Get Famous. Um, which isn't technically a shipwreck, but there's two pieces to the ship, so I just have them split. And it makes it look like, ooh, that's a broken ship. Right? Y y sure, yeah. Um, and I also changed up this design down here a little bit on how I wanted it to look. Um, it's got the same sort of outline as before, <clears throat> but we have a captain's quarters that I added in. Um, and then the front of the ship, it wouldn't let me get rid of like outside walls. So it was kind of difficult to decide some stuff, but yeah. Um, and I also added a, uh, I think it's called a ship hold, <laughs> like where they hold the cargo and stuff cargo hold? Uh, is that a cargo hold? I don't know. Anyways, I don't know ship terminology. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so now I'm putting in lights because I realized it's dark. <laughs> um, and we have like a combination between um, like three different lights on the ceiling and then I think it's just one light that I've put on the wall. Um, but I didn't want to have the same light on the ceiling throughout because it didn't make sense to me. But yeah. Uh, and then, obviously it's a shipwreck, but I... My, like, storyline is that he's been here a while. <laughs> and this is why everything looks so, like, put together, like, there's so much stuff going on. Um, and the, the storyline is that... He, he and his crew went around plundering, gathering items, getting a bunch of stuff. They were in a really bad storm. And this storm started to, like, they, they were like, okay, we're going to have a problem. And they see a mermaid who looks seemingly like she is controlling the weather. So, in, you know, hasty decision making, the captain has decided that we're going to kill the mermaid to stop this from happening. Well, in fact, that made it worse. <laughs> and that's how they end up in Shipwreck Cove, uh, along with the other boat, which is from a different shipwreck, but we don't know the story behind that one. Um, and so now it's just the captain, all the crew is gone. They became ghosts, uh, which I didn't include in the cast. Um, you might be able to like, you know, put a bunch of ghosts in here, but I just decided on him and the ghost of the mermaid. Like, she's sticking around to, like, bother the crap out of him. <laughs> and then, what else? Oh, and then, so, like, the crew is also around, like, haunting him, being like, you done did us in, what the heck's wrong with you? Um, and... So the mermaid, though, has talked to the island spirits, who are obviously inhabiting this island, this lot, and they're um, 
basically on her side and <laughs> they're keeping him here, like stuck here on this lot, never to leave ever again. So he has like a little shop, I guess, set up in front of the lot, like in front of, because there is an exit. You can see the exit. You can walk uh, to the edge and you can look at the ocean and be like, oh, dang, that's the ocean. <laughs> but he can't go there. Technically, it's a sim, so yes, he can. But anyways, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, so he has the like, little shop set up. So he like sits there and he trades with the, the villagers. Because, yeah. But otherwise, he pretty much has no access to the outside world. Um, the uh, jungle grew around the lot in order to entrap him in, on the lot. Um, and the only reason there's that opening is because... And because the spirits, like, can't affect that ship because it's from, like, another shipwreck. Um, and those ghosts attached to that ship, like, have done nothing wrong. And if you, like, affect their resting place in like a severe way, like, you can't, like, it, it, they'll like, cause problems basically, I guess, I don't know. That's like my storyline anyway. <laughs> um, and I've noticed like, the recording is a little laggy, so I don't know if I will be like, right on time with everything. So if I'm a little off, I'm sorry. I've tried my best <laughs> to make sure that it's not laggy, but here we are. <laughs> yeah um but yeah so we're just putting in like decorations rugs stuff such like that um i did put a rug over like those symbols i don't know if that'll cause problems so you can always just get rid of the rug um or move the symbols or something oh and there's coughing i don't know if you heard that but i'm sorry <laughs> um but yeah i used Obviously, paranormal stuff, um, some vampire stuff, what else, some of the, uh, like, witchy stuff, I <laughs> can't remember the title of that, <laughs> oh, but yeah, I used all, like, a lot of the debug stuff, those hands, those hands are so creepy, and these dolls, and, like, I used these jars, um, I only put one of the actual hands in. The other ones are, like, just the clay hands. Um, then we have... And I put three dolls on those shelves to make it look like, um... Uh... I know it's past already, but it make it look like the Powderpuff Girls a little bit. <laughs> and then there's, like, one creepy one in the corner. <laughs> um, what else? We're putting plants around, but I don't actually put that many plants around because it didn't seem to fit the decor all that well. Um, some of them, and like the big palm ones, just didn't work with the um, the space spatial stuff. Space, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> um, and then I'm just like putting in like lights and stuff. Some places are dark, but it's fine. <laughs> I like it that way. <laughs> um, and then, oh, I used some of the spooky stuff. So I put those, like, hands that are holding candles, like, by the vanity. So it's, like, you know, like, that area is, like, starting to be haunted, but not quite. Because, like, the whole, like, living room, dining room, uh, not so much the kitchen, <laughs> but those areas are all, um, uh, like, being haunted actively, I guess. <laughs> um, the bathroom is, like, I put a bunch of, like, scratches and cracks and stuff in that particular area, and I don't know, like, what the story is there, but I was thinking maybe, like, um, before they, uh, got a shipwreck, like someone was locked in there and they tried to get out or something or I don't know. You can you can make up a story for, for that. Um because there's no werewolves. Um so yeah. But 
Uh, so there's also, there's just a bunch of knickknacks in the, the storage compartment downstairs, um, that, like, from, uh, Sulani, and I think there's, like, a romantic garden thing, some vampire stuff, uh, some adventure stuff, I can't remember the name of that pack, hmm, anyways, <laughs> And then there's also uh, some nautical stuff from Cats and Dogs. And then I'll also, this is when I changed the name and still didn't notice that I misspelled ha haunted. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we we're putting like, stuff around. Like I'm kind of like gaining the idea of like what I want. Um, Oh, I also changed the walls. I was talking over that. I changed the walls from, like, the original color to, like, more of, like, a brownie, like, like, brown color. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just putting in, like, so this is, like, that's the other ship. And that ship can't be really affected. I mean, there's, like, stuff growing around it, but it's not, like, compromising the ship itself. And that's the point. And then some of the stuff was sticking up from the basement, but I didn't want to change the height. So I just kind of put stuff over it and like blended it in. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, we're just putting these weird strange plants everywhere, which seemingly they don't do anything. Like you can try it, like you can get rid of the hands and the... Um, ectoplasm goo puddles <laughs> but you can't like when I clicked on these they didn't do much uh, they just said I could move them which is weird um, and those lights are technically floating um, but I liked them there <laughs> as like a oh he put these up or something and here we are doing terrain paint that will just go away <laughs> Uh, when I, uh, add the Sims in later, so I had to redo it, which was kind of- So some of the screenshots don't have the terrain paint, which is super annoying, but it's fine. Um, and then I use the mossy, uh, stuff, and I was looking for, like, different, um, stuff to put in the pool to make it look, like, dirty and grungy and stuff. And then I decided, like, he put down, like, some pavers or whatever and tried to, like, make it home. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Um, like, as much as possible. Because, like I, like I said, he's been here for a while. Um, and, like, this is my idea of, like, this is where the ship was. <laughs> I guess. And, like, this one... Like I said, is like full of sand and you can't really access it, but you know, it's here and you can't technically disturb it. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I'm putting like logs in and oh yeah. This is so I, I really like how the pool turned out. I was thinking like when the ship like like when there's like a, a divot. I it would've be it would have been a pond if I thought about like if I did wanted to do that. But honestly, I did not feel like working with terrain tools. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I also wanted him to be able to swim in it. And not all ponds, I don't think you can swim in them. Um, and then these lights. I thought at first, like, maybe they would, like, represent all the souls that are trapped here. And the middle two are, like, the captain and the uh, mermaid. And the other ones are, like, the crew members from the other ship as well as the the main ship it, well it's not really the main ship but there's two ships anyway the main ship i'm talking about Ooh, and this was the best plan i've ever had <laughs> i outlined where i was gonna put the trees because <laughs> <laughs> i did not know where to start with this at all i was like uh yeah i'm gonna have trees everywhere but i don't know where um and originally like there was like some trees on the lot but I think this might lag a little bit because of so many... I put a lot of trees. Like a lot. Like a lot of trees. 
and bushes and plants and just stuff in general. And I tried to keep it to like tropical plants. Um, the Salvo Dorado plants. Some of them are from Strangerville and then some of them are from vampires, like the dead ones. So I was thinking like, oh, the dead ones are like, you know, they, they couldn't thrive in this environment because there's so many dang trees. Um, or they were like struck by lightning or something like that. This big one at the back though is like significant. Um, and I, I, I don't, it's mystery to me as well as why it's so significant. And you'll see some terrain pain going on like way later. <laughs> and that's why it's significant. <laughs> um, but yeah, I spent so much time on these trees. Oh my God. I literally just went around with every single one of the trees that I was like, okay, this tree fits, put it around. <laughs> okay, this tree fits, put it around. This one fits, okay. Here, there, there, there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Um, and I, I go back uh, for some of the ones that have different colors as well to like flesh out the forest. <laughs> Um, a little bit more, um, it ends up being very, like, from the map, it looks like it's a forest. Like, it's actually, like, just part of the scenery. <laughs> you can't even see the ship. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll show it to you right before I do the cast. I don't know if you can, if it's going to be too fast or whatnot, but it's great. I, like, looked at it and I was like, wow. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> And then even in the screenshots, I couldn't quite figure out where things were going to go, um, like, screenshot-wise. Like, I was like, how am I supposed to get a picture? Like, because normally I have a picture of, like, the whole build, or, like, the front of the, the main build or whatever. But there's not really one, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah. And I wanted, like, the back of the boat and the, the big dead tree to be exposed and then like the side of the 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 one the the first ship that was there to be there oh and that big tree oh my gosh that big tree is great <laughs> um uh, what else yeah i'm just putting all these things in <laughs> i'm still doing trees how, how long can i talk about trees <laughs> It really took, this took the most time out of everything, I think, putting the trees down. Um, but I didn't want to, like, I don't want to cut any of it out because, like, I like showcasing that I put a lot of effort in, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is that weird? That's weird. <laughs> but yeah, it took quite some time to just place all this stuff. And it really, like, it's, like, thick. And like, when I was, like, playthroughing, um, like, I was gonna go take the, the screenshots, obviously, but I showed up and it was freaking storming, so I had to have them, like, go stand inside for, like, the, the group picture, and the ghost just walked through the trees, and I was like, all right, <laughs> totally forgot you could just walk through stuff, but she's a ghost, so it makes sense, so, yeah. Anyways... <laughs> Uh, so you more more bushes, yay bushes, all of the bushes, just just putting them everywhere. At what point do I change my mind? Okay, so now we're putting rocks in, and these three rocks are significant. I don't know why they're significant, but they are. Okay, <laughs> and then we have this. I, okay, I'm just making it like this is part of the lore that I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Um. And like I said, the terrain paint just left. It it flew the coop when I added Sims onto the lot. So um, I had to redo it. Uh, so it might not look exactly the same as before, but I hope it is, you know, decent. <sighs> Sadness. And then I decided this area was like lacking. So I added some more foliage. 
yeah, it's a it's a good time. There's a lot a lot of bushes, a lot of bushes and trees and foliage and flowers and junk like that. <laughs> and eventually, I add a secondary spring in. Um, I wasn't even going to try to make it look like it was part of the pool. I was just like, you know what? It's just right here. Like, you know how, like, tidal pools work? You know? They're separate. <laughs> I was, And then I was, like, thinking, well, maybe I should make the pool into... And I was like, nah, I already spent so much time on that. Leave it alone. <laughs> um, but yeah. <sighs> look how beautiful it is. And I couldn't, like just be like, okay, these are the packs I want to use plants from because there were some base game plants that I wanted and some, you know, uh, adventure ones, some uh, spooky ones, some vampire ones, or I don't think there's spooky plants. Vampire ones. So there's spooky. Whatever. I don't care. Um, just like, and it was just like, never mind. I'll just go through and place them everywhere. <laughs> But yeah, it takes quite a bit of time to fill up this area. And I'm still talking over it. <laughs> um, but like, I, I just like how you can see that it fleshes out like way more than it did before. Like, you, yeah, I, 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 I just like, I really like, I don't know why I like it so much. I'm like, this is so cool. <laughs> Oh, and I have like a, a, like a weird shrine to cactus, cacti, 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 and like aloe <laughs> over there. Because <laughs> there's going to be like an archway above them. <laughs> I don't know. Like that's like his prized possession or something. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I liked the idea. Um, And I was thinking about putting like some of the shaped bushes in but then I was like no nah, I won't do that because but I was like I was shortly debating whether it it would be something that like um the ghost would like do to like mess with him um and be like haha you know you think you see a dog in the the bushes it's not it's really a bush <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but there was a brief brief idea and it, it faded. <laughs> um, but now we're putting in flowers. And there weren't as many flowers as the bushes and trees, which I found interesting. I mean, I was thinking, I was debating on doing some of the get to work stuff, which I did put one of the get to work, like weird, those weird branches that come out of the ground, but I put it like near like the back. And, like, it wasn't, like, too prominent or anything, so, yeah. It's cool. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. I'm yawning. No. But, yeah, I really flush out the area, like, a lot. Like, a lot. Like, eventually, like, you have no gaps. <laughs> like, none whatsoever. Takes forever to do this. But I really, like I said, I really like the transformation of it. You can see, like, how different it is. Um, and here we are putting in some paintings. I liked the idea of having, like, the pictures of the ships and the map and stuff. Like, these are, you know, st stuff that he had. And then I liked the idea of him putting up, like, um... I guess, like, barriers so that he can, like, kind of live normally. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, I really like the idea of, like, these flowing um, curtains in the wind, or in the, the, the ghostly wind. <laughs> um, and then, like, you know, you see like a ghost through the sheet or something and it's, it's creepy. I like that idea. <laughs> um, and then what else? Oh, and I had him put like, uh, uh, well, I had it so that like there's these sheets covering up the bunks so that he doesn't have to look at them when he walks out all, every time. Um, and then I put some out in the front so that he can like close them. 
because obviously there's not really a door into it. Ah, and here his his shop. And then I put like a beach towel and some fishy things and oh there's the uh what to call it? The archway and then I also put a floaty out and I put like some ring toss and some swings. <laughs> I didn't like plan for children to be here, but I was like, I liked the idea like that he was like, I'm just gonna build things <laughs> since he's stuck here. So he's just building stuff. Like he even built a boat, even though he can't use it. And like, he's got all these pots around, like maybe he made some pots and like, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. And like, he's selling some of the treasure that he has that he knows isn't cursed because if he sells the tr cursed treasure we all know how that goes and then I spent so much time trying to put this head of the statue in his hands and then I just gave up and sized it down <laughs> um and then what else I put the anchor in from cats and dogs because I thought it looked nice I tried to hide the plaque but it didn't quite work uh but whatever and then I put some of the dig site stuff down. Um, whether he'll be able to use it or not, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then I put like crates down, like, you know, like these fell out of the ship when it crashed into the water and stuff. And I was thinking that the, the treasure chest that's in the water is like one of the cursed treasures and he'll never find it. So he'll be stuck here forever. Or maybe he will, I don't know. <laughs> Um, and then I just like stuff around. And obviously like he has some modern in, uh, conveniences because he is trading with uh, people who like, he's like yelling at them from the beach side like, hey, you wanna buy some of my stuff? And they're like, um, sure, you weirdo. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the idea. <laughs> Um, and then I put like planter pots everywhere. I didn't put anything in them because I didn't quite know, like, you know, what, what kind of seeds would he get? Like, you know, and then I gave him a bike, but obviously he can't ride around. He can just ride around the, the lot, <laughs> which I think is funny. Um, and then I put, um, the outdoor laundry stuff in, uh, and there's the, the, the spring, the hot spring, um, which is kind of covered up a little bit by the trees and stuff. Um, what else? Yeah. I do change the color of those. I would put the, the cat mailbox out in a trash bin just because I liked the idea. Um, and then I put, like... The laundry basket because obviously I was like oh wait you need a laundry basket don't you uh, and then I think I put umbrellas at the front as well at some point I don't know if you if I recorded did I record that I don't freaking remember I did not uh, or I did it earlier and I didn't see it and then I added a dog in post so I quickly added those items <laughs> so we have Cap Hap Captain Caspian Ragnar and where is my notebook? Hold on. Yes, I fully ra walked away from the computer so that I could get my notebook. <laughs> because I specifically- <coughs> Shush. <laughs> I specifically named him this because it was like- <coughs> I- No. Ragnar means judgment warrior. <laughs> And I like, I thought it was funny. Um, so he wants to be fabulously wealthy. He's evil. He's ambitious. And he's erratic. <clears throat> because he's being haunted. <laughs> um, but yeah. I also liked the idea of Caspian for... Could you stop? I am almost done with this recording. You do not. You do not need to do that. She does this every time. <laughs> She bothers me. Anyways, I liked the name Caspian for a pirate. I did look up famous pirates, um, and they actually have pretty normal names. <laughs> um, 
But, because I was like, well, I was thinking, like, Blackbeard, like, oh, obviously, like, everyone's got normal. No. Got some weirdo name. No. They don't have weirdo names. They all have normal names. Why do they have normal names? <laughs> um, but there was, like, Calico Jack and, like, there was, like, those were the two. Blackbeard and Calico Jack. They had, they, they had the special names. But... They don't have any other names. They just have their name. <laughs> uh, and that, I mean, from what I was reading. Obviously, I don't know if there's other people, but yeah. Anyways, I tried to keep him in, like, button-downs. So, like, he has, like, a set of clothes. Like, he just has, like, his undershirt. And, like, maybe he bought, like, the shorts from someone. Or, like, traded for them. Also, I used someone else's ghost mermaid. Uh, cause I didn't feel like trying to kill her and then get ambrosia and stuff. It's already on the gallery. So I'll give credit to that person in the description. And I changed her up a little bit. Um, her name is Aureliana, which means golden, Cantabilla. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and that means like a song. So I was like, golden song. You know, I like the idea. So her goal, because she's a ghost and she's been killed by this man, uh, she is mischievous, so she wants to cause mischief, uh, and she is a child of the ocean and a child of the island, and she's mean. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I just change, like, her up a little bit. I don't keep the coconut bra. I, I change it to the seashell bra. <laughs> um, and I change her hair a little bit and, like, her outfits a little bit. Uh, they don't technically match the weather, but she's a ghost, so how can she die again? <laughs> That's sad, sorry. <laughs> and then I also get the dog, because um, I remember in one of the pictures there's a, like, a captain and the dog. And I was like, ooh, I could do that. Like, you know, the dog died or something. <laughs> Is that sad? And, like, the dog likes her more. <laughs> um... So I find a ghost dog, and I'll credit this person as well, because obviously I didn't make the dog. Um, I did age it up, and I was thinking about aggressive, but then I was like, I want it to be nice to the girl. So I just made it mischievous <laughs> uh, in this Athena. So she's adventurous, loud, and or noisy. And I kept trying to get the ghost to hold the dog, which is possible, but it wasn't working. But uh, yeah, so here we're going to move them in. And uh, we're going to come into screenshots. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe, like, and the bell notification if you like this content. Um, I'm going to try to have some Red Switches family edition out at some point. But i got to do some editing for that. So, yeah. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.